Are you currently using a glycolic toner or even previously owned one? In this particular video, I'll be sharing you five dermatology approved skincare hacks for using a glycolic toner. Before I continue with the video, ladies and gentlemen, just smash the subscribe button because it pushes more videos like this to more people like yourself. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, a place whereby we teach you skincare hacks. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you five skincare hacks that you can use with your glycolic toner that you never knew even existed. Now, let's talk about glycolic acid first. Now, glycolic acid is under the family of alpha hydroxy acid. And we know that glycolic acid is a great exfoliator. But how does it actually exfoliate your skin? Now, the way it exfoliates your skin is very different from how other exfoliators exfoliate the skin. What glycolic acid does is it breaks down the glue or the bond that holds your skin cells together. Once the bond has been broken or has been weakened, it's much easier for your skin to exfoliate itself. And once we know that this is the basis of glycolic acid, now we can then use glycolic acid to treat a whole host of different skin problems. So here are five skin problems that can be treated with a glycolic toner. Number five, keratosis pilaris, otherwise known as chicken skin. Keratosis pilaris is a skin condition whereby there's an accumulation of keratin plugs on your hair follicles. Now, this is not really a skin disease, but it's more of a cosmetic issue. And more often than not, it appears very unsightly or not cosmetically pleasing. Now, you can appear anywhere on your body, can appear on your back, on your arms, between your thighs, and even some cases on the face. Now, you can use any form of scrub and you can try and scrub out your keratosis pilaris, but it will not work. So one of the tricks to reducing your keratosis pilaris is by applying a glycolic toner on top of the affected area and leave it on for the entire day. You can start off by doing it twice a week and if your skin tolerates it, you can even increase it up to three times a week. Now, once the keratosis pilaris is much lesser, you can cut it down to once a week. Now, a pro tip from me, if you can't get your hands on a glycolic toner, you can also either get a salicylic acid or a lactic acid toner. Hack number four, it reduces dark armpits. Dark underarms are actually caused by a lot of different issues. However, the main thing that causes the dark armpits is actually friction or rubbing. It could also be due to shaving. But nevertheless, dark armpits are a reason why a lot of people refuse to wear sleeveless clothes. By applying the glycolic toner under the arms, it exfoliates dead skin cells and exfoliates the melanin as well. And the best part is not only helps with the dark underarms, it also helps with body odor caused by sweaty armpits. Again, start by using it once or twice a week. And once the dark underarms are actually lesser, you can start cutting down to once a week or even down to once a month. Hack number three for a glycolic toner use, it reduces ingrown hairs. Ingrown hairs can happen to anyone, male or female. And ingrown hairs more often than not leads to uneven skin texture and even inflammation of the hair follicles, what we call folliculitis. And if you're someone that shaves often, you are more prone to ingrown hairs than other people. So how does the glycolic toner reduce the incidence of ingrown hairs? By applying the glycolic toner over the areas which are prone to ingrown hairs, the glycolic acid will weaken the bond between the cells, makes it much easier for the growing hair to push out of the follicle. The glycolic acid also prevents the buildup of dead skin cells in the follicles, which then triggers inflammation of the hair follicles. You can use a glycolic toner to prevent ingrown hair once to twice a week. And once the incidence of ingrown hair is much lesser, you can then cut it down to once a week, down to once a month. Hey guys, before I continue with this video, let me know in the comments below what glycolic acid toner that you've used before or what glycolic acid toner that you've seen in the drugstore shelves. Hack number two for glycolic acid, it helps reduce flaky scalp. Flaky scalp can be caused by different things, namely dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis. Now, in both cases, it's generally due to buildup of sebum on your scalp, leading to oily scalp and eventually fungal infection of your scalp. Now, using a glycolic acid toner on the scalp will help exfoliate the dead skin cell and at the same time, disrupt the growth of fungus. And because this is not an antifungal, it does not pose any long-term issues on your body. However, one of the things that you do have to be careful if you're using a glycolic acid toner for your scalp is that it's not a leave-on treatment. That means after washing your hair and then drying it up, 
apply the glycolic toner over the affected areas, leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes, and then rinse it off with plain water. You can use it once a week to twice a week, and once the flaky scalps have reduced, you can use it once every couple of weeks. And once the flaky scalp is gone, you can even stop the glycolic toners. And the number one skincare hack for using a glycolic toner is to reduce dark acne scars. Dark acne scars occur because when you have an inflammation of your skin, melanin is triggered from the melanocytes and then deposited in the skin. And these dark acne scars, sometimes called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, can last quite a long time, from months to even years. So one of the best ways to reduce it is not to apply any anti-pigment ingredients, but to use a glycolic acid toner to exfoliate the dead skin cells. Start using your glycolic acid toner two to three times a week. And eventually, once dark acne scars have reduced, you can keep it down to once a week. Now, there are many recommendations that I can give you for glycolic acid toners. And two of my favorite are the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toner 7% and the Pixie Glow Toner, which contains 5% glycolic acid. So that's the end of the video. Five derm-approved skincare hacks for glycolic acid toners. Let me know in the comments below what other skincare hacks that you can use with a glycolic acid toner, which I didn't mention in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and turn on the notification bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. That's it from me, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and always remember to stay safe, stay healthy and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.